After having a surgery, sometimes it can be a bit difficult to get back to doing your regular movements and activities. In this sponsor segment this morning, Stephanie Jarrett is a physical therapist with Advanced Physical Therapy out of Fenton. She joins us with some helpful information this morning. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. You know, let's talk about what kinds of surgical recoveries uh, can benefit from participating in physical therapy. Yeah, so we see a lot of different varieties of surgeries um, after they have their surgery and even before their surgery. Um, some of the ones that we see common are knee replacement, hip replacements, carpal tunnel releases, um, wrist stabilization after surgery. So there's a lot of different things that we can do to help them get back into doing what they want to do. Yeah, so a variety of things that you help with. So how do you evaluate someone after they've gone through surgery? So we go through different things. We discuss what their goals are for physical therapy. We look at different movements and functional patterns. Um, based on kind of where they're at. So we inv individualize their care kind of where they're at. Well, speaking of that, what do you do exactly then in the clinic? I know, again, you, you specialize it, but what are some of the tools that you have to do that? So we have a lot of different equipment and we try to get creative. It's really fun for us to help them get back to what they're doing and seeing them, like their faces light up when they make some, meet some of their goals. Yeah, um, we're looking at some pictures yeah. here. So kind of talk about some of those, uh, again, what's this person doing here? So Renee um, from our Fenton office, she's an OT, and then Robin is doing a squat. She's a PTA at our office. So we're working on lifting, whether that's lifting a grandchild, um, mowing the lawn, that Renee is doing CPR on a BOSU ball. So we had a nurse um, patient, she was work practicing doing um, CPR in the BOSU, working on endurance and strengthening. So we kind of just meet people where they're at. Yeah, and why is it so important then to cater to each individual? So in order for people to be successful, they need to see the benefit from physical therapy. And in order to do that, we need to um, appreciate where, where they want to be, what they want to do, and get them back to doing what they love. Yeah, each recovery is unique. Uh, what is prehab? Let's talk about that. So oftentimes prehab focuses a lot on education, kind of setting an expectation of what their goals are, focusing on the different surgeries specific to what they're having and the recovery, um, the timeline and protocols, whatever that entails. Yeah, and uh, again, some of this may take a little time, right? It's not overnight. Talk about how right. you kind of build endurance as you go. Yep, so the first day we kind of, everybody comes in and we take a look at their strength, range of motion and different functional activities and then see where they're at. We focus on progressing them as they can. Yeah, well, bottom line, what does it mean to you you know, to help these patients out and to see that progress. Yeah, it's a lot of fun when, when people get excited and seeing them, just their faces light up when, they, when they're doing something at home when they haven't done it in a long time. Yeah, and overall, I mean, the goal is to what? Help people get back to their normal lives, really, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Let's show our uh, viewers at home where they can find out more information. There's all the variety of locations there on your screen for Advanced Physical Therapy. You can also go to the website advancedphysicaltherapy.com to learn more.